If you do hear noise outside or the air conditioner blowing, I apologize about that. The noise is um, the kids are outside playing in my neighborhood, so they're kind of loud, but I do apologize ahead of time. They're just kids, you know, having a good time. So, okay, let's get back to the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today with you, I am Miss Mystery. And guys, I'm so excited because today, I'm going to be doing my first Miss Mystery meal. Applause all around. I want to share this recipe with you. Today I'm going to be doing a penne pasta. So let's get into it so I can show you how it's done. What you will need is some, a can of these uh, ready cut Italian recipe tomatoes that one can of that sorry just keep an eye on my water I have some butter now guys everything that I show you here is optional for you to use if you want to use your own and make it however you want you know to whatever you want you go ahead and do that whatever is good for you so I'm using country crock today but usually I use a vegan butter which you know I don't have today but I decided to use this because it's my husband's favorite so we're gonna go with this today have some garlic I have some whole wheat pasta it's trying to be a little healthier I have some olive oil some Himalayan salt pepper this here is oregano now I know you're wondering what the heck is oregano doing here but it's a little secret recipe of mine so stay tuned till the end to go ahead and see that and I have some parsley and I also have my favorite, which is Italian seasoning. And then I have some mozzarella cheese. This here is four cups. Now you're not gonna use all of this and all of the measurements that you need, I will go ahead and place in the description box below. And finally, I have a pound of Genio ground turkey. Now, if you're not comfortable using this brand, because I know there were some issues with it before, you know, recall and all that. If you don't feel comfortable with this, you can go ahead and use whatever you want. We personally, in my house, we use ground turkey, but if you want to use ground beef or another brand, whatever you want, it's up to you. I use this one, it's 93% lean and 7% fat. Also, you know, just a healthier alternative. And this is a, a pound of it as well. So you want to go ahead and use this when it's not frozen. You want it to be thawed out and ready to go. So let's get started to cooking. I'm so excited for this first episode of Miss Mystery Meals, one of many to come. Just to remind you guys, I was initially posting Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I went ahead and switched that Wednesdays and Fridays just so I could have something, you know, up for you Friday so you can enjoy it during the weekend. So let's get started. And here we go. Oh yeah, and one thing before I forget, I typically use onion, but seeing as how I don't have any, that's also an option that you can do. The onion goes incorporated into the meat, but if you don't like it or whatever, I mean, I would recommend it, but if it's not something you have in your home like I do right now, then you can go ahead and adjust and improvise. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's Miss Mystery. I'm sorry for the audio on this part of the video, but I have to do a voiceover because I had a very important call. So what I'm doing here, as you see, is adding salt to the water that is boiling. You want to have this on a medium to high heat so it boils pretty quickly. And now I'm adding some extra virgin olive oil to this water. The reason I'm doing this is to ensure that the pasta does not stick. This is a little trick that I learned from watching, I believe it was a Gordon Ramsay video. I'm not too sure, but that's pretty much what I do. So you want to add that into the pan, throw up a thumbs up, and then you're going to add your pasta, and I'm using whole wheat. So go ahead and add that. You want to do this once the water is boiling and is ready to go. And I think it's 16 ounces what I'm using, so it's pretty much a big bag of pasta. So now we wait for it to be ready and done okay guys here I am again I promise the rest of the video will have audio it's just this part so I'm sprinkling in the oregano this is the secret ingredient that I add to my water uh, along with my pasta I 
not sure if it really does anything, but for me, it is a flavor I like, and it gives my pasta some flavoring, so you want to sprinkle that in into your pasta, let it sit there and boil until it is ready to go. Yum! Okay, here I'm checking uh, to just to let you guys know to keep your pan on a medium to high heat. Now we're going to grab our country crock butter. I'm using the original, but you can use whichever one you like. And also, guys, just to let you know, please disregard my dirty stove. Uh, okay, so I'm adding the butter to the hot pan and just mixing it around so that way it dissolves all over my pan. Sprinkle it on there because, you know, mo butter, mo butter. I mean, who doesn't love butter, right? So we're just waiting for that to dissolve. Look at how good it looks. Mmm. Now here's one of my favorite parts. Now that your butter has dissolved into your pan, you're going to go and grab a spoon. And you're going to check on your pasta. Okay, it's still boiling. Then you're going to want to add, I'd say, ugh, I mean, I love garlic, but it's entirely up to you guys. I would say half a teaspoon or a spoon. God, I make a mess. Okay, so you want to add that into your pan, and I love the smell of this. I love the smell of garlic. It's so delicious. So just, you know, move that around and let the garlic cook. And then this is where you want to put in your onion. If you do have it, you want to dice it up and throw it in your pan. Okay, now that that is cooking, the garlic has kind of browned up, you want to grab your ground beef for turkey. In this case, I'm using ground turkey. You want to throw that in the pan, let it cook up, and break it apart. Okay, we're having our turkey cooking, so now we're going to head back and check on our pasta. You want to move it around to prevent it sticking from the bottom of the pan pan. You want to do this consistently, moving it around. And you want this to cook al dente. Mm, looks good, doesn't it? And what this means is you want it cooked almost to the point where it's done, but not completely because we're going to continue heating it up and moving it around. Or you could cook however you want. So let's put the lid back. Okay, so now we're checking on our ground turkey, and what we're doing is just breaking it apart. Mine was still a little frozen in the middle, but it's completely fine. I just say use thaw turkey or ground beef so that way it's easier to cook. So I'm just breaking it apart here and browning it up, making sure it cooks thoroughly and is ready to go. You can cook this, I'd say about a good, mm, probably five, six minutes till it's brown or it's to your liking. And I'm just going to brown this turkey up. It looks really good. I mean, once it's cooked, not when it's raw, but look at that sizzle. Yes. Hey guys, I just want to apologize for the first part of this video. Well, the beginning of the video, I didn't have audio uh, because I was on a very important phone call, so I couldn't really, you know, have that playing in the background. But from um, the rest of the video, I will go ahead and be telling you guys how to continue cooking this. So if you have any questions, comments, or whatever, just put them down below. So. Right now, I have the turkey ground beef finishing up. I'm just browning it and breaking it apart. Now, as far as seasoning, um, we don't really eat that much salt. Sorry about that. We don't really eat that much salt in our house, but you can go ahead and season this however you want. If you want to do some garlic salt, that's fine. That's entirely up to you. But for this, I think I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. So let me grab this salt and pepper. And then, sorry about that. So I'm just going to do a little bit over here on my food. Like I said, I'm going to leave the quantities in the description below. One thing I do want you guys to take in mind is that this Himalayan pink salt is very strong. But it is a healthier alternative. Um, I bought this one at a local discount store, but you can find this in a supermarket anywhere. So I'm just going to put some pepper 
I love pepper. Open this up so the steam comes out. Okay, so I've added some salt and pepper to that. And now I'm just going to continue keeping an eye on it. Sorry if the camera is a little shaky, but... My first video, guys. Bear with me. So just keep breaking that up. Browning it. And like I said, if you don't want to use turkey ground beef, it is absolutely up to you. I personally like it just because it's healthier and it's a little easier on my stomach. Whereas ground beef, my stomach doesn't really approve of it too much. So, so that's pretty much finish now guys I know you saw earlier that I put oregano in the water as a pasta but I'm also going to throw some of my seasonings over here so I like to put some parsley parsley to throw some of that in there Because, you know, I'm trying to be fancy and make it all Italian. So I'm going to throw some oregano in there. Sorry, Italian seasoning. In there, give it that Italian flavor. And be a little generous with this. And we're just going to give it that good flavor. Now my secret ingredient is oregano. So I'll throw some of that, just a little bit on there. I love the flavor of oregano in my food. And I also put it in my eggs, in my pasta, in my meat. But if that's not something you like, then that's fine. You don't have to do it. That's entirely up to you. Or if you want to use completely different seasonings, that's also up to you. And I do have this in about, I'm going to say like medium, medium to high heat. But right now I'm going to turn it down. I'm just going to finish breaking it up. And I'm going to turn this down. And we're going to add our canned tomatoes. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, so I turned this down to medium heat. You want to go ahead and add your tomatoes. Um, I have these, and these are diced with garlic, oregano, and basil. These are the ones that I like, and it's an Italian recipe. You don't have to use these if you don't want to. You can use pasta sauce, you can use regular tomatoes, whatever you want, it's entirely up to you. I typically use pasta sauce, but I didn't have that today. Plus, I wanted to add a little more, you know, hardiness with the tomatoes, a little bigger cuts. You just want to add that in there. You could also use this and a can of tomato sauce. If you want a little soupier, if you like yours a little soupier, that's entirely up to you. But I think for us, this might be good. I think this is good for us. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for a little bit. Checked on our pasta and it's done. Yeah, you wanna get that nice little simmer and sizzling going in there. Let all the flavors combine together. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this pasta, take it over to the sink, and I'll meet you guys there. What I like to do is I put my strainer down there. Don't worry, I already cleaned. Um, and then I'll dump my pasta in here and I'll rinse it with cold water and the reason why you want to rinse with cold water is that so your pasta doesn't keep cooking because this water is still hot I don't know if you can see the steam so we're gonna put in here we're gonna rinse with some cold water we're gonna strain it let's go ahead and do that and then I'll you guys back on the stove okay so pasta's back in the bowl I strained it I rinsed it with cold water now something that I like to do, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, is to add some butter to your pasta, just a little bit, and just mix it in there, and this pretty much prevents it 
from sticking and it also gives it flavor. This is just how we prefer. If you don't want to use butter, you can use olive oil or you don't have to use anything at all. You can just leave it like that. Now once it's done, we're going to check on our meat. So this looks about right. Now let's do a taste test. Let's see what it's tasting like. So just move this around one more. Okay. Mm, this looks good. Those tomatoes. Should be really hot. Mmm. The seasoning is perfect. Look. Mmm, my god. Yeah. Okay, let's turn this off. And I do apologize if my stove is dirty. So I put all this in here. And I combine it. So good. I'm going to finish putting this in here. And then I'll meet you guys at my counter. Now I know you're wondering like what about the mozzarella cheese? The mozzarella cheese is also optional wherever you want to add it. If you want to add it to your meat, if you want to add it to your pasta, but I preferably like to put it on top when I serve myself. Look, doesn't that look so good? When I serve myself pasta, I put it on top. Um, you don't have to use mozzarella. You can use Parmesan, you can use Asiago, you can use whatever you want, whatever cheese you want. Pasta is finished. This is the final product. Zoom in so you can see. Yum. Doesn't it look so delicious? I wish I had some wine to accompany this, but unfortunately, I don't drink. But I am going to drink some of this. Some lemonade tea. I'm going to pour it right here in the cup. I can accompany this delicious meal. Okay, I'm so excited to try this. But first, let's take a drink. Mm. But you can accompany this. You can pour yourself whatever you want. If you want some wine, beer, red wine, white wine, whatever you want, you guys can accompany this. But for now, let's go ahead and try. I threw some mozzarella on top and some parsley. That's where the mozzarella comes in, but you can use it wherever you want. If you want to throw it in your pasta with cheese or you want to throw it in your meat, you go ahead and do that, girl. You go ahead and do that. I love cheese. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Easy to make. Quick. It doesn't take that long. I think you'd be in there like 30 minutes tops. To make this this is delicious i can't wait for you guys to try it if you guys do try this recipe please tag me so i can go ahead and see it comment let me know if there's any other recipe that you guys would like me to try or go try to make i don't consider myself a chef but i love to cook i love to cook I'm passionate about cooking so i hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys on the next video. Damito! Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring that bell so you get notifications and you keep up with me, guys. Bye!